Okay, so so the last question on a little quadratics uh, topic assessment. Um, for core one, you can see we've got lots of information up here. We've got a quadratic x squared minus ax minus 29 is equal to this expression here, which is completed to square, uh, completed square form. Wow, some serious uh, lag. That's completed square form. Okay. And it says A and B, find the values of A and B. Okay, do what it says. So let's go forward. So if I write out x squared minus ax minus 29, let's make that a little bit better. I know completed square form is going to be x minus 4, the first bit. And like I did before, to find the first bit, I'm going to do x minus 4 squared. So if I expand that just over here, I'm going to note it down. I get x squared minus 4x minus 4x, which is minus 8x. And then I get plus 16. So to get this red bit, I want to balance off. I want to take off a 16 here. So I'm going to take off 16 there. So that and that will then disappear. And I'm left with my x squared and my 8x. But also I've got in blue minus 29. So... I got the completed square form, I got the square bit, and then minus 16 minus 29 is actually minus 45. So my value of A, because it says plus A up here, must be minus 4, it's the only way. And my B it says plus B up here, so my B must be minus 45. So X minus 4 squared minus 45. So there we are, done. Again, you get one mark for getting the uh, number inside the bracket, the minus 4 here or here. And then you get two marks because you had to do this adjustment, the red thing here, this 16, getting rid of it. Um, and combining it up with that to make minus 45. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at part B now. Hence, why do I show that the roots of this, when it's equal to naught, are that and that? Okay. So, remember... Solution, three methods of solution we can factorize, we can use the formula, oops, formula, dodgy laggy computer, or we can complete the square. Now this one doesn't always work, I like to use this one because it's quick, if we can, I like to use that because it's quick, this one's long and boring. Um, but always, well, uh, yeah, always works. To, well, it doesn't always work, but often works. Depends on the discriminant, okay? So people would like to use this one, but this one makes me sad because it's long. People rely on it because they think because they've got the calculator, it makes their life easier. And actually, a little bit of intelligence, not intelligence, a little bit of effort allows you to use like this one or possibly complete the square. But it's very convenient because part one, we actually already completed the square. We know that at minus x minus 29, we want to solve that equal to 0. Okay, so why don't we just solve this instead? x minus 4 squared minus 4, 5 equal to 0. Because they're the same thing. This here, x squared minus 8x minus 29, is x minus 4 squared minus 45. We've just shown that from here. When a was minus 4, and b was minus 45. We've just done that for part a. So let's use that. Okay, so then I just have to do x minus 4 all squared is equal to 45. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides, not forgetting that um, I have to take the positive and ne negative square root. And then I get x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 45. Okay, so then it says, hence what I showed that this or this equals 0. Look, I'm going back to the question. Our c minus d root, oh, hold on a second. We've got root 45 and it says d, ah, uh, we might have to simplify our third. So 
that uh, wow let's not move the question that would be a dumb thing to do let's like oh wow well. excuse me I'm struggling a little bit <laughs> over there and then in red oh that was fun this bit is the bit we want to change and I know that root 5 is root 9 root 5 looking for square numbers that go into there which is 3 root 5 ah now that looks like this doesn't it so I'm going to rewrite my answer down here as x equals 4 plus or minus ah Let's say that's why I show that the roots, there's a misprint here. That bit there should be a plus minus. And then through five. You can tell that from the words. It says roots are oh, C that. Well, it should be plus or minus. That's just a misprint where it's not printed out the symbol correctly. Um so you could argue, you could say that C is uh what have we got? C is 4 and D is plus or minus 3. Okay, so some of you got to this point, but you didn't simplify the fraction. And yeah, okay, check you understand what's going on here. And that's it for all our questions on topic assessment for quadratics.